The Internet of Things business is a keen area of focus for Vodafone globally. We've built up a special business unit. We have 1,400 staff dedicated to the area of Internet of Things and they operate around the globe, providing our customers with insight, with solution design support and consultancy in the area of this. Vodafone have recently rebranded re the, the previous M2M business to the Internet of Things business. And we feel that this is the right move to take at this time based on the, the services we offer the market having changed and what our customers are seeking from us. So where traditionally we were offering basic M2M connectivity and just a small range of services now extends beyond just basic machine to machine connectivity and includes a range of communications module, cloud and compute, data analytics and storage as well as service operation centers. So we can now offer our customers the full range of things that they need in order to develop out their IoT proposition. Investment in the infrastructure locally has been very good and I think that we can see that we've got super coverage and super capabilities locally in Ireland. So for example, in Ireland Vodafone has invested 500 million in the local network. So we've, we've gotten over 90% 4G coverage around the country and that really affords customers an opportunity to deploy lots of different solutions. Um, at a global level, we're investing hugely in the network and in our coverage capability. So we've invested in the core network to ensure that it's resilient, that it's robust and suited to our customers' business critical applications. We've also invested in our reach to make sure that that service is available in as many geographies as, pos as possible to allow our customers to move and have access to that network wherever they are. I see a huge amount of collaboration between industry, academia um, and small businesses. So you know, locally here in Ireland, we, we support the local chamber of commerces in different regions. We work with universities to try and share the knowledge. This is a new area. It's maturing, but there's a lot to be learned. And there's a lot of synergies, a lot of um, help that we can give each other as we develop out these solutions. And I, I think it's important that companies work together with industry, with academics, to try and solve some of the challenges that we have in the market. That's an important aspect. And also, I think another positive to take about this whole journey is we're seeing a huge, a huge number of Irish startups that are taking the best out of this and they're really getting ahead. So, so we have some, some Irish customers of ours include, for example, Fleetmatics, a startup who back began five or six years ago in Tala and are now a global player, the leading provider of fleet management solutions in the SME marketplace globally. So they're a super reference of an Irish company who's taken this technology and really delivered a super product. A more recent customer of ours is uh, Mukul, who are quite new to the market and they've developed a super product in the agribusiness space, really helping farmers to manage the challenging process of their cows having calving and making sure that the cow survives during that. So I'd like, it's just, I find it super to see Irish businesses taking the competitive advantage that IoT provides them. Will Irish businesses be ready? I certainly hope so. I think there's a large number of them have really embraced this and really seen the opportunity that it represents. But there are still some companies there that don't see the relevancy for them. Those that see it, see it as relevant are usually in traditional sectors served by this technology. They're in energy and utilities and security and smart cities. But my point is I think it's, it's relevant across n numbers of different industries. It's relevant in retail and services, in agri, in health. And just because you're in one of those industries doesn't mean you can't consider it. So what I would like to see is Irish businesses in different areas really looking and seeing how they, how they approach the market, what are their competitors doing, and how could they work differently? Because there's a huge amount of competitive advantage that you're going to generate from these, from these projects. You can take cost out of your business, you can reach your customers in a different way. It's very relevant and we have a lot of research on that topic. There's a barometer report that was published by Vodafone last summer and again, the summer previous to that. It's available on our website if anyone would like to have a look at it, it's downloadable for free. And it's got some lots of really good insights about why you should go about you know, de deploying an IoT solution for your business. Second to ensuring your, your funding is correct, I think it's important that businesses rec you know, recognize the value of their ideas, look at their intellectual property. When they come up with an idea, seek legal advice and get your, into it, get your IP patented if you can because there's some super innovation coming 
and I'd like, love to see Irish companies get ahead and having that competitive advantage in the marketplace. I think the possibilities are endless when it comes to IoT and it's very difficult to predict exactly what's going to happen. Without doubt it's going to grow hugely, it's going to grow exponentially and every industry expert says that they're going to see massive growth. We see um, more accessibility into different market verticals, so more prevalence in health, more prevalence in agribusiness, more prevalence in retail and services and every other market that you can't think of. So I think it's going to really become pervasive, become subtle. We're not going to notice IoT around us. It's just going to be a part of the fabric of society. So you won't realize it's, it's there, it'll just be there. And it's impossible to predict all of the ideas that people will come up with, but it's certainly going to be exciting. I definitely think it's going to help how we live and how we work. And I think that it's all going to be hugely positive. <laughs>